Hello guys, it's me Amman from my channel Tick Unbox and today I'm going to review and unbox the Samsung Galaxy A10 So let's see here, it has an Infinity V display, 39p 5MP camera, 3400mAh battery 15.80cm full rectangle screen and then it comes with 13MP rear camera and 5MP front camera and 32GB memory with 2GB RAM so let me unbox this so let me open the seals So here comes the container inside it. Let me check what's inside this. And this phone does not come with a silicone case with it. As you can see, let me show you. There's no silicone case inside. And then it has a shut guide for anti card and original locker. Let's get inside. And then comes the main project, the phone. Let me remove this out. Let me remove the stickers of this. So here comes the other container inside the box. It has an adapted fast charger. This is a charging port. And then there is a charging in it. As you see. And then finally comes the USB cable. Micro USB cable. As you can see, it has a micro USB port. So now let's keep this aside and take the phone. So here comes the phone, it has a camera and a flashlight and a Samsung branding over it. And then comes the speaker over here. And then it has volume button over here and power button over there. So let me switch this on. It's getting on. So let me remove the side stickers of this. As you can see over here it has a SIM tray over there. So the phone is switched on. Now let me show you the pre install app in this. As you can see, it has this bunch of pre install apps. And then let me open the camera. This is the back camera, the rear one, 13 MP. And it has some settings on us, 4 to 5 settings. And then comes, uh, let me show you this. And then comes the white uh, photo and the uh, normal one. And then it has pro, paranoma and video. And then here uh, it has a uh, gallery option. And then this is for selfie. To open the front camera. As you can see, the front camera. So this phone is really slippery. Lightweight and it has a charging port over here, the audio jack over here, and a mic over there. As you can see, 
this phone is really very slippery and uh, very light and uh, the camera quality is not so good as you can see the camera quality is not so good for but this is okay for the budget so then here comes the settings uh, So let me show you some pictures from this phone to you.